Splat the Cat Splat and Seymour, Best Friends Forever Based on the best-selling books by Rob Scotton Cover art by Rick Farley Text by Alyssa Heyman Interior illustrations by Robert Eberts Published by Scholastic Inc. Splat and Seymour were best friends. They did everything together. You and me, said Splat. Me and you, said Seymour. Friends forever. What can I do for my favorite friend? The friend I adore, wondered Splat. I know. I'll throw Seymour a best surprise party ever with treats and games galore. Let's see. There has to be cake and ice cream and candy, horns and streamers and balloons, fancy hats, and much, much more. The next morning, when Splat ran to call all of his friends, Seymour ran too. Uh Uh-oh, Splat thought. How can I plan or go to the store when I'm always with my friend Seymour? Splat tiptoed into the kitchen to whisper his plan to his mom. That's great, she said, but how can you get out of the door without Seymour? I have a plan, said Splat. Seymour, why don't you play with little sis, said Splat. Mom and I have to go to the store, and it's going to be such a bore. Seymour nodded, but he was surprised. He'd never been left at home before. At the store, Splat piled the cart with more and more. There were too many yummy ice cream flavors for him to ignore. Splat went to work. He baked the cheesecake for Seymour's party. Then he baked four more. He cooked cheese swirl cookies, but Splat still wanted more. He made a huge bowl of chocolate cheese pudding. Spike is playing a soccer game and he asked me to keep score. I'll be back before you can shout. Seymour's whiskers drooped. Why was Splat leaving him out? Splat pedaled fast. He invited all of his classmates and it invited more, even Mrs. Wimpy Dimple and the cat twins next door. Finally, it was party day. Splat had to get Seymour away. Seymour, I promised Kitten I would go and play with her, but I have to do more chores. Could you go over without me? Seymour liked Kitten, so he agreed, but he felt so sad. Didn't Splat want him around anymore? Splat had to decorate fast. He hung bright streamers, he blew up colorful balloons, and then he blew up more and more. If only Seymour knew what was in store, Splat had even made a banner that read, It's Seymour's party day. Kitten was decorating. Two, she was decorating Seymour. Let's play dress up. Look, here's a fancy outfit that my doll once wore. Kitten held out a mirror and Seymour jumped in surprise. As great as this outfit is, it's not my style, he said. I'm sorry, that was such a bore. I found just the right thing, said Kitten. It's a fairy dress and sparkling wand. You can be a fairy princess to adore. No, no more, no more, yelled Seymour. Splat, I'm coming home, even if you don't love me anymore. Seymour came in the door. His tails and whiskers sagged. He had never felt so alone before. Surprise! Everybody yelled. Splat yelled the loudest. Seymour's eyes opened wide at the uproar. A party? 
A party just for me? That's why you kept me away. Hooray! Seymour ate ice cream and cake and candy and popcorn and cheese galore. He opened presents. He ate some more. But best of all, he was with Splat again. Oh, Splat, squeaked Seymour. This is the best party ever. You and me, said Splat. Me and you, said Seymour. Friends forever. The End